hello you're joining me on a rather damp Wellington morning and for today's video I'm going to be taking you on a little tour of what's known as the Golden Mile it's basically a series of streets starting here on Lampton Quay taking us right up to the end uh, of Courtney Place it is mainly known for being the main business centre of uh, Wellington City it's also the main shopping area and it also has some of the main sites of Wellington uh, all the way along it and so for today's video I'm going to be taking you on a quick tour so let's get into it okay so I'm at the start of the Golden Mile here at the northern end of Lampton Quay uh, behind me you can see the bus station uh, and also this big tower uh, behind me here is Rutherford House uh, it's the main tower for Victoria University of Wellington's Pipitea campus uh, but also uh, if you go past the bus station that leads you down towards Thornton Way there's a very nice little shopping centre there but that's technically not part of the Golden Mile so we will uh, move on carrying on around this way behind me uh, is old government buildings uh, this is an original construction it's one of the largest wooden buildings in the world and it survived uh, over a hundred years of earthquakes uh, this was the, one of the original um, government and parliamentary buildings when it was constructed however these days it's no longer used for that it's actually uh, currently on a 50-year lease to Victoria University of Wellington and currently houses the Faculty of Law the most iconic feature of this end of the Golden Mile is of course Parliament and anybody is actually allowed to just walk uh, into the parliamentary grounds you can sit on a bench and have lunch if you want and actually quite a lot of people do although not today because it's winter and it's cold and wet um, uh, interesting thing a lot of people uh, tourists in particular who come here uh, obviously, I uh, think of think of the uh, New Zealand Parliament as the beehive, the big uh, building which is so named because of its shape. But that's actually not Parliament. Parliament is actually the big grey building in the back of shop there. That's actually where the debating chamber is. The beehive is actually just an office block. Uh, you can actually pay to do tours of Parliament, and if you go um, when Parliament is in session, you can actually go on the tour and watch Parliament being debated briefly. Uh, I've done it on a school trip, it's actually quite hilarious. Okay, so this structure behind me here is the Wellington Cenotaph. It was erected here in 1931. It's just outside uh, Parliament here, and it's a very popular tourist attraction. It's a memorial to New Zealand soldiers uh, who died in World War I, and then later another plaque for those who died in World War II uh, was added. Uh, there's some lines from one of Rupert Brooke's poems uh, on the front. So he's an English poet uh, who's one of the many poets known for writing about World War I. And yeah, it is a very, very popular attraction uh, here for tourists and certainly a powerful reminder of uh, all of the New Zealanders who gave their lives uh, for the uh, cause of the war. These two buildings here make up the uh, Supreme Court. This modern looking building here is the current uh, Supreme Court and then next to it is what was the old Supreme Court. A lot of it is now office space so the building is still in use but the old courtroom and the old uh, holding cells are still there and as far as I'm aware you can take a tour uh, of the old court. I did it uh, in 2013 as part of a school trip. of this end of the Golden Mile is that just about every traffic light in this area from which it's possible to see the beehive the green man is replaced uh, with a figure of Kate Shepherd um, who was uh, a campaigner who helped 
uh, New Zealand become the first country in the world to give women the vote and she's probably the most well-known figure associated with the New Zealand suffrage movement. It was originally just a temporary installation, they decided to make it a permanent feature and in other areas of Wellington you can find other figures uh, in the traffic lights as well such as uh, a famous performer in some of the traffic lights uh, by Cuba Mall and a soldier in place of the uh, green man uh, at the uh, traffic lights uh, around the Wellington National War, Mem uh, National War Memorial. If you're interested, another great way to see uh, the Gold Mile is on one of the brand new double-decker buses that Wellington has just got uh, as part of its new bus network. So if you really want to get a proper view of the Golden Mile, it would be a great idea to hop on. Just across the road there is one of my favourite bars and restaurants uh, on Lampton Quay. Uh, uh, as you can see, it's called the Churchill. Very nice English-themed pub, named of course after Winston Churchill. Really nice place. The restaurant and bars off the Churchill actually span over three floors, which means that it's also one of the largest bars and restaurants uh, in Wellington City. There's bars on all three floors and a, rare, and a very nice restaurant up on level one. I, de I would definitely recommend going for a meal there, it's really nice. Okay, so we finally moved up Lambton Quay and the next place that I want to show you is Midland Park where I'm currently sitting. This is just a very nice open space with some nice green grass. There's a very, very popular lunchtime destination for people who want to come and get a bit of fresh air from being cooped up uh, in their offices uh, all morning. And there's loads of uh, cafes and uh, places to eat around here as well if you didn't bring a packed lunch. Very, very nice and a nice little tranquil space um, just in the middle uh, of the city although unfortunately not necessarily quiet because you're right next to the road and you've got all the cars and buses coming along but uh, it is very pretty uh, nevertheless So just next to Midland Park is the David Jones department store. Uh, for over a hundred years this was the uh, home of the Concordian Stains department store. A local uh, department store, very very popular, lots of posh expensive brands and sadly a few years ago after well over a hundred years of operation they finally closed down and the site is now the home of uh, an Australian department store chain. Still quite posh but it's never been quite the same since they refurbished the inside. Kind of looks a lot more just like a modern department store now. I think it's kind of lost that kind of classic touch. Uh, but at least the outside of the building still looks uh, still looks very historic. Just behind me is the capital on the key key which is a nice sort of little mini shopping center just on the other side of the street there but that's not the main feature that I wanted to point out up on the eighth floor there's a very nice little viewing platform where you can get a semi good view of this part uh, of the Golden Mile and there's a very nice glass lift going up the sides uh, of the building shall we go and take a ride Some nice benches here too, you can come and sit down. It's perfectly safe because they've put some safety glass up. And you can get a very nice view of some of Lampton Key from here. Not so much this way because of the plants in the building. You can see the harbour as well. Nice view of David Jones. Also, you can use this lift as a shortcut to get to the terrace, which is a road that sits on the side of the hill, uh, just sort of above Lampton Quay. There's actually quite a lot of buildings where you can uh, use the lift as a shortcut. You can also use the farmer's department store, for an example. There's others as well, but the glass lift is probably one of the most popular ones, because who doesn't love a good view? Very quick. 
quickly, our next stop on the Golden Mile Tour is Cable Car Lane. I'm not going to go into any details about the cable car because I want to save that for a future video. But if you do want to ride the Wellington Cable Car, then this is the place on Lampton Quay to come. The sign for Cable Car Lane also has this very nice uh, map of the city as well, which the council has put here, which is very, very helpful. And interestingly enough, um, you can actually see on here, it's not labelled as the Golden Mile, but the Golden Mile is kind of on here. At the back of this little James Cook arcade here are the lifts up to the James Cook Hotel, which sits up on the terrace. And this is another one of those buildings where you are freely allowed to use their lifts as a shortcut up to the terrace. And it is a favorite way for students at Victoria University to um, get up to the top of the terrace to get to university because the terrace is a very, very steep hill. So a lot of people prefer to walk along Lambton Quay where it's flat and then take the lift up to the top, up to the top of the terrace and then just walk uphill for the last bit. Makes sense. So I've just come into the beautiful Old Bank Arcade, the site of one of New Zealand's earliest banks. I think it might have been the first one actually, hence the name, and it looks beautiful in here. And behind me on the lower ground floor, there is this beautiful, uh, basically a safe. Uh, if you, it looks like a prison cell, but if you look, it's actually an old safe. I'd love to show you this properly, but annoyingly they've put an advert for this uh, little promotion they're running, which is, very appropriately called Rob the Old Bank. So, it would have been nice if they put that somewhere else. Uh, another great thing about coming here is that if you do what I've done, done and come downstairs to the lower ground floor, you can take the escalators down there to uh, the Willis Street Food Court. So there's a very great link here and you can get across the road as well. So, fantastic. signs have actually been put here by Wellington City Council as a joke. Our final attraction for Lambton Quay is the Plymouth Steps, named after John Plymouth, uh, who arrived here uh, in 1841. He's known as one of the fathers of Wellington, and in the 1990s uh, they unveiled this statue of him walking with his dog Fritz, who I seem to be unable to get into shot at the moment. Very, very nice statue. And these whole steps here are named after Mr. Plimmer. So that's the last thing that I want to show you on Lampton Quay, and therefore the end of part one of my uh, Golden Mile tour. Yes, there's so many things to see along the Golden Mile that I just couldn't fit all of it into one video. Part two will be coming out very, very soon. I might even upload both of them together, we'll see. And so that's it for now, and I'll see you guys in part two.